some cute little fish on my table. And the, the little gold one came from my grandson Charlie gave it to me for my birthday last year. And there's a little rooster there. And he's doing pretty darn good. And there's a little teapot <laughs> that I filled with uh, uh, some coleus. And it took, it, you know, it broke. I pulled it off because I didn't want it to flower. And then I, it, I, when I slipped it, it cracked further down. So I just put it in there and it took. Look at that. It's so cute. It's so cute. And this, this, uh, this tree here is doing really good. Well, it's not a, it's a stand that my son bought for me a long time ago. And I just hang up all these. I've got three of them on there. Those are all begonia pots. And firecrackers on the top. Yay! Now here we have, because we here's my, my heart's in the garden. And these little sweethearts over here. These are such little sweethearts. And little, my little angels, and I threw around some, um, some blue stones that I got at the pet smart <laughs> that I put in my aquarium. That makes it look fun. And look at my little ducks. Look at my little quack quack. My little ducks in the bowl that I found in an antique store. They, I'll bet they're over 70 years old. You just don't see stuff like that. That's an old bowl. Remember Hagrid's pottery? I wouldn't doubt that it came from there. And then uh, over here we have Miss Lady Jane. She's very happy, very prim and proper, sitting, sitting so proper, mm -hmm. little, little teacup there. And now we see all oh, the little koi fish. Well, they're not little anymore, they're big, <laughs> they're really big. I love the sound of the water. Where are you guys, huh? They, well, they'll come around when they think I'm coming with some food. There's one guy over there. And then uh, there's Tigger over there. Look at that big boy. Look at that guy. He's really big. Yeah. Here comes Goldie. Here comes Goldie. Where's Al? I call Al because he's, I think he's an albino. He's Steven. See him there? You know he's got blue eyes, I swear. I just don't look like blue eyes. But they are so, they are so sweet. They, they hear my voice and they, they're coming. See, they're coming here thinking, is she going to throw something down for me or not? Oh, maybe not right now. Not right now, then. And here's the cute little toy spouter. And I planted little plants around the pond. Some coleus, some coleus, some impatient, okay, some impatient, I love that little green catcher, look at this one, I got this at a craft show at the Arlington Heights Gardening Act, and I just thought that was the coolest thing. She's got a little, as you'll see at the bottom, it gets its water from from that little, you know, that you would put a wick into a candle. She's got it in the water, and it draws up enough for that little spider plant. When I came home from that walk, I they use spider plants in a lot of little uh, cups and things they had. And I thought, son of a gun, I must have 10 zillion spider plants. So I filled them. You see that? I put that by my car. Oh my gosh, I took them and I planted them in little pots. In little pots around my car. Okay, so there's, there's one there. And I put one up here so you can see that. You know, and they love the water, the spider plants. So if you've got stuff like that sitting around, there's another little one in there. And that's how that goes. Oh, 
There's nothing better than a garden. I'm going to tell you that right now. It just um, calms me down, makes brings me back to reality when I'm getting stressed out. There's all my wind chimes. And I'm glad I had this thought to do it because I think it keeps those big uh, birds from flying in here. They check it out, see? They check it out. And there's my big, beautiful red umbrella that Paul just bought me for my big birthday coming up. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. There's the queen of the of the castle there. She's a pretty lady. And there we are. There we are. Time to sit down and take in the breeze.